Hello, I would like to thank you for joining me in our week five stress reduction course. I ask that you find yourself in a comfortable seated pose or in a laying position, whatever feels best for you. Throughout this class, I may suggest that we do a couple of yoga poses or stretching techniques. The request is optional. If your mind and body is telling you to stay put, I ask that we listen to what our bodies feel. Maybe we can just visualize the poses that I am suggesting. Listening to the intuitions of our environment, noticing what feels good and comfortable to us. May we start this session by taking a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhaling through the mouth. If we choose, may we bring our palms together at heart center. Gazing downward towards the earth or closing our eyes, if that feels good for you. If we are in a seated pose, May we ensure that our shoulders are nice and high, our spinal cord is nice and long. Maybe tucking our tummy nice and tight. Inhale. Hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth. Noticing how the breath relaxes and soothes the mind and body. Inhale. Keeping our hands in our prayer position. Maybe we can thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to take some time to practice self-care today. Inhale. Exhale. Relax in the body as we allow our hands to fall to the sides Maybe allowing the palms of our hands to touch our environment, using the sensations to bring awareness to our current situation, being mindful of our present moment, noticing how we feel at this very moment. Inhale. Exhale. Using the breath to bring awareness within our bodies. Becoming centered here today. Continuing to gaze down. Noticing what's going on within. As we slightly and slowly lean our bodies towards the right, we're going to work on a side bend. Noticing how this feels in our bodies. Allowing our left arm to lift up in the air as our left arm reaches over our head, feeling the side bend. We're going to go down as much as we comfortably can, relaxing the body. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, palms are on the earth. Allowing our bodies to lean towards the left, as our right arm comes up in the air, nice and high, over our head, lean in our bodies, fill in the side, bend, going down as much as we comfortably can. Hold in a pose, two breaths. Exhale back to center. Placing our palms on the earth, noticing how we feel within. Inhale. Exhale. Bringing our palms back together at heart center. Gazing down. Inhale, arms up above our head, salute. 
Maybe we can bring our palms together. Feeling the sensations of our palms connecting. Exhale, seated prayer. Palms come downward at heart center. Continuing to gaze down. Inhale, palms above our head. Salute. Exhale, palms down. Prayer. Nice natural breaths here. As we are using the silence to bring awareness to our present moment. Noticing what's going on within. Listening to the intuitions of the environment to help us bring awareness to our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Now that we have had some time to listen to our own intuitions and desires, maybe we can bring our awareness to our class topic of today, which is awareness of our thoughts feelings and emotions without judgment no matter what they may be good or bad up or down without judgment simply being aware as we all know the power of our thoughts feelings and emotions are very strong how we feel holds more power to us than the words we hear. Our feelings and our intuition speaks louder than words. Have you noticed that? But often we know when something is correct and when something is not. Our intuition, our feeling, our gut, our gut, which is known as another brain, our gut, often tells us if someone is being honest or if they are not. Our gut often tells us if something is right or if something is wrong. Our gut knows. Then we have our brain, our mind that sometimes that sometimes try to tell us something different. Or we may have a person who may try to tell us something different. But we know what we feel. And the emotions that we experience, the thoughts that we experience, often overpowers words. We want to hold on to our feelings, positive or negative, and be aware of that feeling and why we feel that way. Having a negative thought, having a negative emotion isn't a bad thing. Maybe we can work on our awareness of what that feeling and what that thought is trying to tell us. What is our intuition? What is our gut? trying to let us know. Have you noticed the power of your thoughts, feelings, and emotions? Maybe we can take a couple moments to think about that. Maybe we can gaze down towards the earth, allowing our hands to relax on our laps, and notice, think back maybe to a time power of our thoughts, feelings, and intuition was dead on right. However, we listen to our brain or our heart and became bamboozled. And if we should come up or think of a time and a place where that has happened, maybe we can be aware of it, take note of it, May we not have any judgment. We are simply working on awareness and recognizing our thoughts, feelings, and emotions and recognizing when our thoughts were correct, when our feelings were correct, and when our emotions were correct, and realizing when our gut, that intuition, was correct. Gazing downward towards the earth, using the time to critique 
using the time to be aware of without judgment. Working on awareness, understanding of self and how we are. Maybe take a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. Spinal cord is nice and long. Shoulders are back nice and straight. Tummy is tucked nice and tight. Maybe take a few moments of silence to bring awareness without judgment. Maybe we are working on our triggers, noticing what triggers us and what doesn't. Noticing what gets under our skin and what doesn't. Noticing who gets under our skin and who doesn't. Noticing the people who bring us happiness and hope and those people who bring us down and make us feel bad when we are in their presence. That is a very important awareness to notice how we feel in any given situation. But if we're not aware of that trigger that made us feel bad, if we're not aware of that trigger that made us feel good, we have no control of our environment and who and where we spend our time. But the moment we know what makes us happy, what makes us sad, what makes us feel like we're up, and what makes us feel like we're down, the moment we are aware, we can start to change and control putting ourselves in negative environments. We can start controlling putting ourselves in positive environments that is that are uplifting and positive. But again, we got to be aware. We all got those people in our lives who are toxic. The moment we get around them, we feel like all of the energy has been drained from us. Have you noticed that? Do you have any person or people in your life that drains you? We call them, or I call them, energy-sucking vampires. Because the moment you speak to them, the moment you see them, the moment you get around them, all of your energy, light, hope, etc. drains out of you because you are in the presence of a toxic person. Maybe we can take a moment to go inward. Maybe we can take a nice deep breath in. Gazing downward or closing our eyes. Exhaling through the mouth. Nice deep in breath. Hold the breath. Gazing down. Exhale through the mouth. Palms at heart center if we choose. Allowing our palms to relax on our lips. Nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Relaxing our shoulders downward away from the ears. How are we feeling right now at this present moment? What thoughts, feelings, and emotions are going through our minds and bodies right now? Whatever it may be, maybe take notice without judgment. Awareness is what we are working on. Have we noticed the power of attraction? Have you noticed how when we feel and speak and be confident, how we often get exactly what we want? Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that when we are timid or not sure of ourselves, we sometimes don't get what we want? Maybe you have noticed, or maybe you have not. If we have not noticed, maybe we can work on awareness of noticing, working on being more confident, being more sure of ourselves. I mean, after all, if we're not sure of ourselves, how can we expect someone to be sure of us? We want to get things from the outside world, we have to first experience it and show it from within, from within our speech, our movements, our actions, even our look, all plays a role in bringing in what we want. The power of attraction is real. 
and where do it start? It starts from self. A lot of times we go out here looking for someone to save us. No, that power comes from within. By first giving that energy. Have you noticed? If we don't give the energy, no one's going to see the potential in us anyway. We have to show the world what we got and wait for that person to come and say, damn, that's the energy I was looking for. That's the style. That's the idea. That's exactly what I wanted. It comes from you. It comes from within. It also comes from being authentic and real and true to you. So what does your gut tell you to do? What is your gut speaking of you? What is your gut requesting of you? That gut, that brain, I call it the main brain because you know, you know. You can know without even someone speaking, you know. That gut feeling, that intuition tells you before someone even speaks, you know. You know. Am I right or am I wrong? Maybe we can take a step back and notice. Going inward, noticing and thinking about a time when you knew before someone even spoke about it. You knew, you knew by walking in a room and feeling the energy of that room, of that person's house, of that job interview. You know, don't you? We know. Sometimes we walk in a room and we may feel a certain way, but it's kind of like sketchy and shady. And the more we speak and the more we talk, sometimes we can flip the script. I mean, you can walk into a room and it's kind of shaky and you're not sure what it's going to be. And you behave a certain way, act a certain way, and you know when you're confident. And then by the end of that meeting, you know for sure that gut is telling you. Or we can walk into a meeting and it's kind of shaky and we're not sure. And our energy and our intuition is not so confident and not so sure. And by the time that meeting is over, we know I ain't get it. I was off today. That energy you bring, that vibe you give out is important. Have you noticed? Going inward, gazing downward, bringing our palms together at heart center. May we critique. Have we noticed the energy we bring, the power of attraction? How real is it in your life? Nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. Spinal cord is nice and long. Tummy is nice and tight. Have you noticed? Maybe we can gaze downward towards the earth. Bringing our palms together at heart center if we choose. Inhale. Exhale. Tummy's tight, spinal cord's nice and long. Using a breath and down gaze to help us bring awareness to this present moment. As we become more centered, as we become more aware of what's going on within, always without judgment. We are not here to beat ourselves up. We are simply here to bring awareness to our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Noticing what is good and what isn't. Noticing what is toxic and what is helpful. And working on making the necessary changes to bring us a healthier, more happier life. So today we are so today we are going to work on our cow face. Right now, I am sitting in a cow face pose. And one of the attendees asked a question, I try and I cannot get my legs in cow face pose. So we're gonna go over this pose real quick. How do we get into cow face pose? If we are sitting in a regular easy seat, lotus, half lotus, when we're going into our, when we're going into our cow face, we're simply, maybe we can keep one leg the way it is positioning it to get comfortable and allowing the other leg to cross over that leg. See that there? So then we have one foot here and one foot there. Let's give it another try again. When we're going into cow face and we're in an easy seat or any seat, let's just say we're sitting right there. Legs are straight in front of us and we are ready to go into a cow face. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up one leg, lift up the other if you choose, and cross one leg underneath. 
maybe using your hand to bring that leg out just a little bit further. See that there? Further outwards, lateral. Take this feet, opposite leg, and bring it across the other one. You'll notice that your knees are more to the front and your feet are out to the side. Positioning our bodies to get comfortable in our cow face legs. Voila, that's how we get into our cow face. So it seems, it seems difficult when you're just looking when you've never done it before, but cow face legs is very simple. As you can see, we just got into our cow face legs and maybe we can do it again. So getting into our cow face legs from, from an easy seat is we take one foot flat on the floor. See that there, our leg is already crossed. We're gonna just simply push that leg a little bit more outward. See that there? So we're just bringing our leg a little bit more outward. Taking this leg and lifting it over the opposite leg. Leaning more forward. Positioning our body. See that they're coming up off of our buttocks to come slightly forward to get comfortable. And then coming down nice and easy. And then we are in our cow face legs. Actually, the complete cow face is when we take one arm and bring it up behind our backs. And we take the other arm and reach it behind our backs. And we interlace our fingers behind our back. This is the actual complete cow face. I'm gonna to turn to the side and to the back so you can see how my fingers and my hands are. When we are in cow face, we lift one hand up in the air. Hello. The opposite hand we bring behind our backs. Hello. And we reach our hands until both of our fingertips are interlaced and our legs all crossed in a position that we just practiced. We want to make sure that our spinal cord is nice and tall. See that there? Not bending, not leaning, but nice straight back, meaning spinal cord is nice and long and our chest is forward, up nice and high. Our heart chakra is open. Fingertips are interlaced. We are in our cow face. And our legs, I'm going to twist around. See that there, and our legs are together. And we are holding our pose here in our cow face. And of course, everyone's body will look different in their cow face, whatever feels good for you. And of course, we can do our cow face again, just having our hands and prayer hands in front of our bodies. This may work for some people. Some people bring their hands behind their backs and do the prayer hands behind their backs. See that there? So we have our hands behind our back. This works for some as well. Whatever feels good for you. So as we, so as we are here in our cow face, May we take, may we take the next couple moments once again to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice here today. And throughout our week, may we become more aware of our thoughts, feelings, and emotions without judgment. May we be aware of how people, situations, and things make us feel. Noticing if they are energy-sucking vampires or if they are positive, uplifting souls. And maybe we can work on ways to spend more time with positive, happy environments. And maybe we can work on spending less time with people, situations, and environments that drains us, that makes us feel horrible after we're done but it starts with awareness and realizing what is toxic and what is not. Bringing our palms together at heart center, gazing downward towards the earth. I ask you, are you aware? Or are we becoming more aware? Are we working on techniques to become more mindful of when we feel up and down? Realizing and remembering that awareness is essential. Noticing our triggers. What triggers us to be happy? What triggers us to be sad? May we notice that. Because once we notice that, we can work on putting ourselves in environments and situations that are healthy for us. 
realizing is essential. I would like to thank you for allowing me to guide you here today. It truly was a pleasure. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you here today. And I thank you so much for joining me in week five stress reduction course. I am, I am just so thankful and so honored to have you here with me. And I am just thankful that you are participating in my trial study. It means a lot to me. So once again, I just want to thank you. And I look forward to seeing you next week in week six in our final course. Peace, blessings, and light be to you. Namaste. I am Vanessa Jackson, Sister Moon. And I will see you next week. Love and light to you. And have a great day, great evening, great night, great morning, whatever it may be. And I ask that you stay safe, stay hopeful, and stay aware. Thank you. If we have free time, maybe we can continue to sit, relax, and critique.